Schneider from Rapido Trains here. The Canadian Pacific took delivery of 20 464 Hudsons in 1929 and 1930. Classified H1A and B, the locos were largely similar, but there were subtle differences between the two classes, primarily in the placement of air reservoirs and some other small details. Both of these classes survived intact up until the end of steam, with the first retirements not coming until 1957. Over their service life, these locos received different running board panel treatments, and several were also fitted with smoke deflectors. Our HO scale models are available in both H1A and H1B configurations, and both versions are available with early and late running board styles. All versions are also available either with or without the smoke deflectors. All of these variations allow you to pick a model that would cover the entire service life of these locomotives, from delivery to final retirement. All of our Hudsons have working headlights, class lights, cab interior lights, and flickering fireboxes. They are powered by our smooth gear drive system with all drivers powered. Sound equipped locos have sounds recorded from the real number 2816. can't get more authentic than that. DCC models also include our Mopower capacitor system for interruption-free running even on dirty track. We're also offering a special edition of the Empress H1B number 2816 as it exists in excursion service today. The model, as seen in this video, comes complete with a unique oil tender and has the 2816's extra whistle, generator, and operating ditch lights as it carries in excursion service today. This model comes packaged in a beautiful wooden display box. So remember the order deadline for the H1 Hudson's is September 15th. Make sure that you get your order into your dealer by then or you can order direct through repeatotrains.com.